Guys, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. We're going to talk about tube fishing. Tube fishing for smallies. Coming up. All right, so I did a real in-depth video that I will uh, put up at the end of this video for you guys to watch as well. All about tubes. I go into uh, great depth on everything. Uh, I did have uh, a video. I caught some fish fishing from shore on tubes uh, recently as well. And I got some questions on how to rig the tubes. So I wanted to, to do that for you guys. I keep a small little box right here uh, with all my tube heads. And they're different sizes from a sixteenth all the way up to an ounce uh, depending on you know where I'm fishing the depth of water things like that uh, today I'm gonna go with an eighth so I just take an eighth ounce tube insert and I, I mainly run three different size tubes I'm gonna go with the smaller size and one of my favorites is the green pumpkin uh, copper flake in it and I just wet the tube head and just insert that. Push it up there. And then break it through here and that's where you tie it on. It's real simple. I'm using a seven foot medium rod. I probably have 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. I use braid on, on all my on my reels. Someone also asked if I use a bait caster for throwing tubes. I don't. It just feels really awkward. I also don't think I get a good feel for what's going on. Tube fishing is all about being able to feel the bottom and the type of structure that you're around. So I always throw it on a spinning reel. I'm running Shimano's, best reels on the market in my opinion. 3000 series, real smooth drag. And uh, we'll probably catch a few fish on this. Let's see if we can. All right, guys, I was really disappointed when I went to edit this and realized that that wind really was being picked up by that mic. It must have been just hitting that jacket. Uh, the wireless mic just did not do justice here. Uh, we had 20, 30 mile an hour winds rolling down that chute, so it made it real difficult. But uh, I do apologize. I still want to get this video out there because I think Thank you guys can learn something, a thing or two about tube fishing. Uh, so I didn't want to just scratch this all together. So hopefully you can um, just bear with the uh, lack of good audio uh, for this video. And I do apologize. Just take your time. A lot of times. 
sometimes I think it's a monster, or it's not, and I just film it. You can cover a lot of water, put a lot of fish in the boat when you find them. cast So a tube works really, really good, uh, especially, I mean, you can see I'm catching them pretty much on every cast here, but it just imitates a, a crayfish so well, and it's just, again, I can't stress enough, it's one of my favorite baits to throw for smallies. And really what I'm doing here is I'm just throwing it out, and I'm dragging it along the bottom, somewhat slow with slight pauses, and normally right when you stop, is when you're going to get a bite and you just reel into them set the hook and you just take your time playing them out now this this stretch here had a lot of small fish you know two pounders and whatnot and i was hoping we get a little bit bigger fish out of here uh, we just might but um there was definitely a lot of fish a lot of numbers along this stretch and the tubes certainly put them in the boat for me here here and there and there's so many different ways of fishing you know this is basically just fishing a tube for smallmouth um, you know you can put you can Texas rig a tube and I'll throw a tube when I'm fishing this way I use a spinner reel but I'll flip a tube a lot uh, Texas rig it uh, for largemouth as well as smallies too sometimes when they're on the bed it can be a great bait you can drop shot a tube much do anything you want with a tube. Just then it takes the crayfish down there.
back reel here as well. I prefer the back reel. I do a lot. Some guys don't. I guess it's the old way of doing things. There you go guys, get yourself some get bit bait tubes, catch some decent fish, lots of fish, all kinds of fish, like I said it's my favorite tube, hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, let me know how you do fishing tubes, until next time we'll see you guys on the hey water. guys if you enjoyed this and you want to learn a little bit more about tube fishing, uh, click the video up here on the right hand uh, top, top of the screen, there's another in depth video I did on tube fishing for you.